The Quench, where you ask, we answer. Well, it's a beautiful evening. And let me tell you something that uh, the matters we are just about to discuss right here at the quench, I don't know whether I'll describe them as as beautiful as the evening is. Because <laughs> there are matters ambazo wakati mwingi huwa tuna shy away from, you know, there are these things ambazo in our society when they do happen ama mtu akiuzishwa nazo we actually like shunning away from such a person. Atutaki mambo mengi ya kuhusishwa na mtu kama yule ama mambo kama yale. But at the quench because this is where you ask genuine questions and we give you genuine answers. That is where we have to discuss this topic. And that is LGBTQ. That is of course one of the monsters that we have in our nation. Not just a nation, in our generation. Wacha ni kwambie is not just happening in the neighborhood. It's not just happening in the, you know, offices. Uh, kule ya tunasikia huko huko majudio inatendeka hapa na pale me tell you something. Even right right within our neighborhoods, right within our households, right within the church, right within the society. Haya mambo yako. And that is why this evening lazima tuzungumze haya mambo. Now, to help me on this matter. And of course to help this beautiful audience, these wonderful people here are these wonderful men of God. Give it up for these men of God. <laughs> now, because I know that uh, Leo, this evening, eh, kuna maswali mazito mazito. Na maswala mazito mazito. <laughs> Ambo ya nakuja upande wenu. Mm. And uh, j- just to caution you, uh, maybe we ambayo unatu, unatutazama ukiwa pale nyumbani, uh, maybe there are some stuff ambazo tutazungumzia hapa that may, may seem a bit uncomfortable, but then it's a truth, you know. It's, it may be a bit uncomfortable, but uh, ata m- kuna mwibaji alisemi ya kwamba watu wakunyu endawa hata kama ni chungu. Mm-hmm. Sini kweli? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because kuna zingine hata kama usipo inyu wa ile endawa, mm-hmm. hata kama ni chungu, kuna maumibu hayata isha. Kuna ugonjwa hauta toka. So, allow us that sometimes we have to do, inaitua bear and uncles, eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, una, kama ni, kama ni, vita, yani you, eh, you, you just take off the gloves mm-hmm. and face the situation face on. Now, my name is Munene David and welcome these wonderful men. Give it up for these wonderful men. I would like you to introduce yourself uh, to the audience right, right, right here and also to the people watching at us home. Uh, you can use this uh, camera and tell us who you are, what you do. My name is Pastor Mark. I'm born again and today I'm happy to be with us here. I hope that we'll have a good time and we'll be able to answer some of those questions that are really behind our minds and people are uh, shying away from answering them. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what I'll be doing today by the grace of God. And I'm an IT specialist oh. and also an accountant. Uh-huh. Always God bless you. Amen. He is man of God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Uh, my name is Chris John. I'm a minister at Mountain of Breakthrough here in Nakuru. Uh, I'm blessed to be here. I thank God because of this show. We are dealing with very tough things and tough uh, tough topics like the one we are having tonight. And because of that, it's important for me to say I'm married to one wife <laughs> who is a lady. <laughs> who is a lady. Beautiful. And I believe you are going to have an awesome time as yes. we go into the into the deep things of LGBTQ and just understanding all about this matter. Mm-hmm. Sit back and relax. You will enjoy the show. Wow. Beautiful. Now, I don't know where we started off. But let me not first go to the audience. Let me first come back to us yes. and ask a question. Have you had a, a situation uh, where maybe someone had to come to you and tell you, you see what, man of God? I am a lesbian. I am a gay. And I uh, kuacha. How do I go about it? As in, has there, has there been a person who ever came to you and confided in you and, and confessed to you? That you know what? Hata kama miu naonanga kama mse straight sana, this and this and this is what is happening. Uh, maybe I'll start off then bring in Pastor Mark. Personally, I, I interact so much with the young people. 
And uh, just like you're saying, this is something that is coming up in our society. We cannot run away from it. Indeed, the people who have come to me, mostly young men, because they, they, they feel safe, they feel safe. And uh, someone asks you, how comes I'm in, I'm in campus and um, I, I, I find so many proposals from other men towards me. And uh, he wants to know what's the problem. Why me? Why, why are all these people directed towards me? What, what, what is wrong? What is happening? Then when you start talking to such a person, you realize that the problem mostly is not from the people that are coming, but even yeye mwenyewe, there are a lot of things that he has to deal with. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of things that he has to break because uh, they say the deep call it unto the deep. That's true. Uh, so when we start addressing and start talking about these things, Unanza who pick out certain things maybe from the past, certain belief systems, mm -hmm. certain certain uh, uh, thoughts that ame, ame weka kwa kili yake, that mimi enye kweli mimi si mwanaume, I'm a mm -hmm. lady. Mm -hmm. And because of these belief systems, you find anakuta and attract such people and anakuta anakuwa entangled in such issues. So yes, it's an issue that has come up and uh, we, we, we are addressing it as it comes. Wow. Yes. So these are matters that we must handle head on. Yes. I insist head on. Very good. <laughs> Pastor Mark. Uh, doing school ministry has exposed some of us to these things. And you find out that whenever we're going for the school ministry for the weekend challenges, uh, basically, we normally have a Saturday session where we go earlier. Mm -hmm. Because Friday is just the Friday evening, but Saturday we have the whole day. Yes. So we are not preaching throughout the whole day. We have mm -hmm. sessions where we have one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. So going to a number of schools, some of them come through. In that session, they open up and they say, this is what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. And I really don't know why, but I'd like to stop. So we talk to them and then we help them. Through. We do guidance and counseling. Try to make them understand who they are. Because mm -hmm. I tend to believe the problem is in uh, identity crisis. If we can sort out identity crisis, mm -hmm. we'll have sorted this issue. Yes. Because how can you be a girl and then you, know, you want to be a man? There's something wrong with the identity crisis. So the bottom line is identity crisis, but the truth we have handled such cases. Mm -hmm. As my brother John has just said, that uh, it is something that is now coming up in the public or in the limelight in our country. Mm -hmm. So we need really to address it before it goes further. Sure. So these things are happening here in Kenya. They are here. They are here. We already have. All right, now let me come to the members of the audience. Now, have you ever had ama encountered an, an issue ama situation ya mtu mwenye ako into any of those? Maybe a member from the audience. Maybe somebody made an advance or such. Ama you have a, you, you have a story from somebody that flani, mm. ah, likuwa na ninyemelea. Mm. Na, 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 ni, ni jamaa kama mimi, ni demu kama mimi. Now, anyone with such a, an issue, yes. I see we have two here. So maybe we can just get a brief, a brief account of it. A brief one. Yes. Okay, a Margaret. Yes. A certain friend of mine in college, though to Lijua afterwards. Uh wakati tulienda tulingia shule tukio pa moja alikuwa like ali to welcome vizuri. Ali alikuwa na to direct oh mnaso me to fulani to nendanga class fulani evo. Anza to peleka picha, like to pigwe picha pa moja. But Easy pictures can't be cool weird because when I see when you hey, your flat tummy, I'm like, oh, na nimstana. When I'm being a your flat tummy, then me me nika nika mwondoke akaba kina ubeshte angu. So after like one month, the otunambiwa tunanza ku wana to pick points. Wale wasstana si wazuri. Kwa sababu yani ni kwa sababu na tembea na uyo. So finally to kajua. Kumbe uyu nilile, lakini hatu kufall in the trap. Uh -huh. So these things are... Yeah, really. Nasi jasa jana. Mm. All right. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Hey, somebody else with a, a different account? Yangu, it's a short story. Okay. Mi ni mesomea high school, a girl's school. And it's a day. So I was like, mimi nilikuwa na our my friends. Back then, in form one, sikuwa napenda kwa zo shit na mtu. I was... Nifanye shugulimeni leta shule, 
after that ni ende home mm-hmm. so i was that ka ka sl- ni kwa mkonde siko ni me ni me develop vizuri <laughs> <laughs> ni kwa mkonde so mm-hmm. i was like tukaendelea hivyo tukaendelea tukifika kitu form 3 hapo i was now ni kwa ni me develop case so kuna hawa madem from different stream mimi nilikuwa east wa walikuwa west so walikuwa nakuja each and every day tungeenda canteen na umetoka na vitu home wananiletea as in to gifts to wananiletea kichwa kukunywa chai break time siku ananunua siku na west pesa ngo unajua zitakuja yes. so me I, <laughs> I i told nikwa naona ni weird so me i went and told my sister eh le kuna was chana na kutishilia shule eh mimi sipendi so ndo akanichanua back mimi sikuwa najua kuna such thing so ndo akaniambia tebu endo uchunguze ukichunguza vizuri utajua so baya nilifanya ka research kango nikaona okay hawakuwa wasichana azim they were not straight walikuwa malele so akaniambia nataka kikuletea gifts so i accept so nika 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 yani kuepukana na unajua uweziambia mtu direct usikuje mm. usinilete mm. so it ilikuwa process tu but i thank god sikuingia hapo mm-hmm. now <coughs> hizi vitu nimeona ziko Cambodia ziko Kenya <laughs> sasa <laughs> acha niulize now what then kama sasa ulifanya ka research kako sio uh, and uh, Margaret over there kuna kuna watu sasa wakaanza ku point point hivi hivi then what are some of these symptoms ama signs ya kujua ya kwamba fulani with fulani anakuwa lili fulani ni gay what are some of the, the signs unaweza kufanya ujue let me now speak kama nisianze na na okay wacha nianze na wewe kwa sababu ulifanya research yako nipatie moja ama mbili and then <laughs> and, and then to, to, I, i give it i love to to the batian uh, japet pale mike pale mwisho yes okay me kenye nilifanya i was like Unajua hakuwa peke yake. Mm-hmm. Kuna a group yenye a certain group yenye huwa wanatembea nayo. Na ukichunguza hiyo group kuna some strange behaviors zenye huwa wanafanya. As in kwa hiyo group kuna mwenye anaact kama a male na kuna sasa mwenye anaact kama a female. So mi mwenye alikuwa ananikujia, alikuwa ananikujia mimi ni act kama female. So si usi, yani ako na characters tunawaita matomboys. Mm-hmm. As in hiyo character ni dem lakini ana act very weird. Ana, kama kijana <laughs> eh, yes. so me after i did my research nikona okay hivi na hivi vitu wanapenda kuvaa hata akiwa home style yake yani lifestyle yake totally ilikuwa boy a boy child aha. so even no me need get kujua aha so some models maybe pale let's, let's let's have it there kwa sababu you know it's important uh mm. first to know that these things are there and how we can identify them before we know how to help them. Mm. Sindio? Yes. Mhm. Yeye anaweza sema sana sana ni kwenye mtu print wanakuanga mo friendly. You know, I remember nikiingia form 1. Um kuna mjamaa alikuwa alikuwa hatuna tabia ambazo unaona ziko weird. So umeingia shule, huyu mtu tu anajifanya tu rafiki. So umefika hapo ni mgeni mtu ndiye anakuonesha juu huko ndio tunaenda kujua nini huko huko ndio tunaenda juu kitchen juu kiti paka unapata tu kiti ameshakutafutia kitu So na wewe ni form 1 na ni form 1 na yeye pia ni form 1 Sasa ukaka ndo sasa nikaona huyu mtu ana okay ile urafiki mimi ni Tanzania tu ni urafiki kawaida juu tumetoka primary nimezoea tu ile urafiki wa majamaa tu mnaenda pamoja hivi mnambonga So um jamaa with time unakuta tu ana hii urafiki imeanza ku grow mpaka mahali ambapo anataka weekend anakuuliza uko, uko mta tumwambia ndio hiyo weekend anakuja so wiki ya kwanza ya pili wiki ya kwanza anakuja so unaona majamaa mkipatana unataka muongelee vitu kama ball hivi ndi mm-hmm. kadem fulani mliona mahali unaona kitu kama hivi <laughs> so huyu mtu akikuja tu unakuta ai ie venye tu anaenda okay mnaanza story vizuri then venye anaenda tu aki unasikia tu ana deviate for example mlikuwa mnaogelea ball then before with time nakuta tu mtu venye anaelekea anaelekea mambo ya gizi mtu unasikia vile vitu ana, anaongea zina evolve na ya sex azina mtukufu so okay with time sasa nikaona huyu mjamaa then ikafika mahali ukakuta 
sometimes mkienda kukitana hivi nasikia mtu ameku slap huko nyuma haya kaona hapana this thing is was oh god so nikaenda at least nika nikaulizia watu kadhaa kaniambia um jamaa by the way alikuwa ametoka boarding na ni, am, ni kama amesubscribe shule tuko naenda tuko nakuta unaweza either board ama unaweza ifanya kama day scholar yeah. so pakuta alikuwa ameweka day you hiyo tabia yake ilikuwa imeanza kunini dio, imeanza dio, kuonekana ndio asifanye hivyo watu watu usiku eh, eh, eh. <laughs> so wakati nilianza nikafanya research watu usiku <laughs> so urafiki yake sasa nikaanza kukatakata pole 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 then nikakuliza watu wengine hivi sasa yes. sasa nikaanza kuwa mkali juu hiyo ilikuwa first time mm. kwenye tu mtu anakupata kwa nyu, kwa nyumbani kwenu yes. unafanya you are lodging hapo yes then mtu umeinama anakuslap the second time tulikuwa shule mm. then ukitoka kwa chore mtu ndio tena anakuslap the huko nyuma tu hai nikaona hizi <laughs> ni weird sasa ikafika mahali mpaka nikamreport mm. report ndio sasa walikuja kujua vizuri huyu mtu nini na hizo nini hizo ah. vitu so sana sana ni friendly wanataka kukuwa friendly sana mm-hmm. then your friend, friendship sasa ndio wataanza kukuelewa pole pole yeah. Yeah. thank you so much now that one is actually a development from what uh, we got area mm-hmm. mwingine analeta gifts mm-hmm. you know there is a stream of gifts mm-hmm. gifts zinakuja zinakuja so they, sometimes wanakuwa over good mm-hmm. ah all right now Let me ask now no, wacha sasa tukuje kwa, kwa kwa issues. Who has a question? Yes. So naitwa Sam. Yes. Sali yangu ni kama tuseme preachers. Hiyo issue umeletewa. Uta separate aje. Unajua kuna kutoa mapepo na ku advise. So uta separate aje juu unaweza pata pastor fulani amemwambia hii labda mama yako alikuwa anataka dem atakupata wewe kijana. Sasa unaona ikakuingia. Mm-hmm. So uta separate aje ku advise mtu na strategy gani na usiruhukie kumtoa hii ni pepo imeingia wewe ukimchapaa makofi. <laughs> so that's why. Yeah, so <laughs> in short, maybe getting his question. Can somebody be mentored ama be raised up to become such? by a parent number one. Mm-hmm. kwa sababu you know ni mza, mtoto, mzazi alikuwa anataka boy amepata msichana mm-hmm. so huyu msichana anamweka ana kama the, the boy that he or she wanted, wanted. until ana mentor to that and huyu mtu anakuwa an, akiwa the opposite person can that happen and number two, what do you do when such a person comes to you uh, yeah in most cases it happens because Uh, LGBTQ ina ina inachangiwa sana na environment the environment you've come up in because this thing you know man man is in 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 three man is a spirit and he has a soul then he has the body so there is the spirit the soul and the body uh, the spirit is who this person is who who I am Chris mimi ni roho and when you look at a spirit a spirit is neither male or female mm-hmm. so sp- spiritually there is no sexuality ara tukienda bingoni unasikia Yesu anaambia wale watu hakuna hakuna bibi na bwana and because this this is a spiritual thing but now when you look at your soul your soul contains your emotions your feelings how you feel about yourself how you feel about other people who you will get attracted to uh, personalities all these things are in the soul and now the body ni, ni, ni shell too so it is directed either by the soul or the spirit mm-hmm. so whatever you have fed your soul with will determine how your body will react i was uh, trying to look at at the lgbtq thing unakuta these are lgbt these are four people the, the the lesbian the gay the bisexual and the transgender all these three lgb is all about who you get attracted to a lesbian is attracted to someone to a lesbian is a lady attracted to a lady a lady, a lady. Mm-hmm. 
a gay is a man attracted to a man. A bisexual is either a lady or a man, but is attracted to both gender. Yani yeye anataka wanawake na bado anataka wanaume. So it's bi, either. Akipata dem ni sawa, akipata wanaume ni sawa. But transgender is different because transgender is what you feel about yourself, not who you are attracted to. Someone is a lady, but she feels like she's a man. So all these things, LGB, they start with transgender. So where, how do you start feeling like a man yet you are a lady, the environment? Unakuta mtu alitaka msichana vile mnasema, akapata mvulana, alikuwa shani nwa mango za msichana, za newborn. Ame nwa tungo tuwa pink, ame baka asha kiliyeti jina, ame semu mtu wangu ataitua Diana, you know. So these things ana input into huyu mtoto at that stage and it takes a lot of time now. If I may grow with that, it takes time now to change that. But that is not in the spirit, it's in the soul. Mm -hmm. So dealing with the mind of this person, yes. you are able to help them. That's why Paul says, be transformed by the, the renewal of your, your mind. mind. Not yes. your spirit, your mind. So it's, it's all in the mind. If you can deal with the mind, you've helped that person. Uh -huh. Yes. Wow. Man of God. Is there something you can add to that? Because I now, now, now we, we, by the time yet we are in the camera already in Asia, we are going for a short break already. <laughs> Just imagine, we are going for a short break already. Uh, Man of God, before you go for that short break. Before the short break, I'd say that uh, uh, it's all about your decision that you make. Now, for the question that has been asked by the gentleman at the back is that Mtoto amezaliwa, wazazi wa likuwa ntaka msichana, amekuja kiwa kijani, ama mvulana. So, that that thing that ambao alimweka cause words are very powerful life is spiritual number one mm -hmm. life is spiritual more than it is physical, physical. Mm -hmm. so once at the point of conception in the mind of the parents what was in their mind was a girl mm -hmm. but eventually after nine months what came was a boy so between the first day of conception and the nine month the day of delivery it plays a role again. Mm -hmm. But now that one takes me back to the place whereby the parents need now to empower whatever God has given them. Mm -hmm. If God has given you a baby boy, you need to empower him and grow him up a as a boy. Mm -hmm. If it is a girl, grow him up as a girl. So, so I see there is a lot of, uh, a lot of um, work mm -hmm. that a parent has to do to mm -hmm. yeah. be a good person. That is a very unfair kuwa. Now, as we come back to the second part, there's a question I'll be asking. Mm -hmm. And maybe let me ask it now so that we for that break. Uyu mzazi ni mzuri. Mzazi labda hata ameokoka. Wazazi tu wazuri tu. Wame raise kijana, mschana, a boy, a girl. Amefika 15, amefika 16. Amefika 20 years. And then ameamua. You know what? This thing I'm not doing. This boy, girl, I'm not doing. Oh. Mimi ni tatafuta maboy, ama mimi ni tatafuta madem. What about that? We'll be coming back after a short break. Do not go too far. The Quench, where you ask, we answer.